Hello class, our topic for today is all about the statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows is one of the financial statements such as the balance sheet, the income statement, the statement of changes in owner's equity, the statement of cash flows, and then the notes to the financial statements. We already talked about the three types of financial statements and now let's proceed to the statement of cash flows so you can visit our video sa ibang mga statement of financial position and the income statement okay so statement of cash flows when we say statement of cash flows it provides information about the cash receipts and cash payments of an entity during a period so this statement of cash flows it is a formal statement that classifies the receipts or inflows and the cash payments or outflows so there is a receipts which is an inflow to the company cash inflow and payments or the cash outflow into operating, investing, and financing activities. So, we have three activities and we already discussed that in our previous videos. The operating, the investing, and the financing. So, this statement shows the net increase or decrease in cash during the period and the cash balance at the end of the period so we have the first the cash flows from operating activities this provides services and produce and delivered goods so these cash flows from operating activities are generally the cash effects of transactions and other events that enter into the determination of the profit or loss. Determination of profit or loss. So, this cash flow can be presented using either direct method or indirect method. Under the indirect method, the net cash provided by or use in operating activities is obtaining by what? Adding the individual operating operating cash inflows and then subtracting the individual operating cash outflows so the first method is the direct method when we say direct method it is the adding the individual operating cash inflows and then subtracting the individual operating cash outflows. For the indirect method naman, it derives the net cash provided the, by operating activities by adjusting profit. So, ina-adjust yung profit, adjusting profit for income and expense items so the adjustments begin with the profit followed by the addition of expenses and charges example depreciation that did not entail cash payments so here is an example of the indirect method of statement of cash flows so, first, we have the profit. Then, we have to adjust it for 
non-cash expenses, for example, depreciation. So, we have to add back the depreciation from for, <clears throat> for the transactions. Then, we have to increase the current asset accounts. So, increases in current accounts, we have to subtract it. Decrease in current liability accounts, subtract. Decreases in current asset accounts, addition. Increases in current liability accounts, addition. And the answer for that is the cash flows from operating activities. So, this is an example of the indirect method of cash flows from operating activities. Now, let's proceed to the following major classes of operating cash inflows using the direct method. So, ano ba ang nabilong sa cash inflows and cash outflows in the operating activities? In the operating activities, diba, it talks about the providing of services and producing and delivering of goods. And it entails also the other events that enter into the determination of profit or loss. So, here is the example. Cash inflows in operating activities includes receipts from sale of goods and performance of services. So, lahat ng mga cash inflows galing sa pagbenta ng mga goods at pagperform ng services Lahat ng cash payments ay cash collections ay included in the operating activities. And also, all receipts from royalties, fees, commissions, and other revenues. For the cash outflows naman under operating activities, so payments, so kapag magbabayad tayo sa suppliers of goods and services, and also payments to employees such as their salaries, commissions, and others. Payments for taxes, payment for interest expense, and payments for other operating expenses. So, if these activities will be included in your transactions, so this is included in the operating cash flows under the direct method of the cash flow statements. Now, let's proceed to the second activity. So, we have here cash flows from investing activities. Investing activities, this includes making and collecting loans. Making and collecting Loans, acquiring, and disposing of investments. In debt or equity securities. Then it also obtains selling of property and equipment and other productive assets. So, for the cash inflows, here we have receipts from sale of property and equipment, receipts from sale of investments in debt or equity securities, and receipts from collections on notes receivable. If these are the transactions in your business, the cash inflows will be included in the investing activities. Next, for the cash outflows under investing, we have Payment to acquire property and equipment. Payments to make loans to other generally 
in the form of notes receivable, payments to acquire debt or equity securities. Now, let's proceed to cash flows from in financing activities. In the financing activities, it includes obtaining resources from owners and creditors. So, lahat ng mga resources kung saan siya galing, such as from the owners ba or from the creditors, the cash flows will be included in the financing activities. For the cash inflows, receipts from investments by owners and receipts from issuance of notes payable. For the cash outflow, outflows, payments to owners in the form of withdrawals and payments to settle notes payable. So here is an example for the statement of cash flows under the direct method. Kanina, napakita ko na sa inyo what is the indirect method looks like. So now, here is the direct method for the statement of cash flows. So, ABC Company statement of cash flows for the month ended May 31, 2022. So, for the Cash flows from operating activities, so cash received from clients, given lang ito ha, 60,400, then we have to deduct all the payments, payments to suppliers, payments to employees, payment for office rent, payment for insurance, and payment for utilities. So the answer is the net cash provided by or used in the operating activities. Then after that is the cash inflows for from investing activities. So if we will acquire service vehicle, so the payment for that is from investing. Payments to acquire office equipment, it is also from investing. So deduction, it's because cash outflow siya kasi nagbayad tayo. So, that is the net cash provided by or used in investing activities. For the cash flows from financing activities, cash received, dahil naka-receive tayo, so ibig sabihin, there is a cash inflow, kaya addition. Then, cash received again from borrowings, inflow, so add. Then, payments. So, when we say payments, there is a cash outflow for withdrawals by owner, so Subtract. So, the net cash provided by or used in financing activities. Then, after that, we have to sum up the net cash from operating, investing, and financing. So, 11200 less 435000 plus 446000 The net increase or decrease in cash is... 22,200 and cash balance at the beginning of the period zero so the total cash at the end of the period is 22,200 but if we will solve for the next month so meron na itong cash balance at the beginning of the period so ilagay lang and then add so that's it for the statement of cash flows so thank you so much class for listening and I know I hope that you learned something from our topic.